welcome to The Gaming Corner. Now, for any of you who have been watching my channel for a little bit, you know that I have rebranded the name. Since I keep mentioning that this is my Gaming Corner, I decided it was time to name the channel The Gaming Corner. So, I do appreciate anybody who watches the videos and anybody who subscribed lately. Now, for anybody who's been... <clears throat> move over just a little bit. So, anybody who's been kind of new here, my name is Matt, and this is The Gaming Corner. And this is my August game pickups of the month. August was a better month than I thought it was going to be. I picked up a lot more games than I thought. I'm going to try to keep this video somewhat short. I'm only going to show video footage of the games from my top five games. But we're going to start off with all games that are authentic, originals. No reproductions, no ROM hacks, nothing like that. So we're going to start off with just the original games first. And I am going to actually do this a little bit different, starting with my Genesis. We are going to start this off a little bit different. We are going to start off with all games that are original. No ROM hacks, no reproductions. Just the straight up original games to start with. So without further ado, let's start it off. And we are going to start off with the Mega Drive and PAL version games I picked up for my Genesis. Yes, I do buy Japanese version games and PAL ones. I always buy what's cheaper. So if you're collecting games, that is something I recommend. Sometimes look at the Japanese market or the PAL market. You might find the games cheaper. Watch shipping prices, though. But first game on my list. Game cart only. I am going to be working on getting a reproduction box for it because the game's awesome. The Japanese version of the game was cheaper than the North American version. And that is Filios. Hope I said that right. This is an excellent, um, what do you call them? Shumps? Shumps? Shimps? Whatever the hell they call them. Top down shooter. This one is awesome. Next on the list. I just wanted this version of the game because I want the US version and the Japanese version of the games. That is Bare Knuckle better known as Streets of Rage 1. There was actually something really cool with this game. Now, this was only cart and box. There's something really cool with this game. If I pop this into my Sega Genesis with the little, whatever the hell I have it have, hiding it, because there's no region lock on this game. So if I put it in using my Honeywell here, which is just a way so I don't have to cut the cartridges, it turns into Streets of Rage 1. If I put it in my Mega Retron and have it set for Japanese, it's bare knuckles. So basically you get two versions of the game in one when you buy this. Streets of Rage 2 or bare knuckles 2. If you have the one that doesn't say not for resale, because the not for resale version is region locked, it doesn't work like that. But if you get the one that does not say that, you actually will get bare knuckles 2 and Streets of Rage 2. And from what I've been able to find out so far, because I did get a RAM hack version of that game, or a reproduction, I mean, of Bare Knuckles 2. There's no censorship. There, It's censored in the U.S., not in Japan. And I think it just has to do with the smoking of Mr. X at the end. All right. The PAL game that I got for the Mega Drive. Space Harrier 2. This is one I've been dying to get my hands on. This one is also just cart and box. No manual, which is fine by me. But this one, this is just a classic arcade game you gotta have. Granted, with this being a PAL version, you do get the 50 hertz music track, so it does sound a bit slower. But the gameplay is awesome. Totally awesome. This next one was a must-have. The U.S. version was way too much. I bought a Japanese version. Still a little expensive. I think I paid like 60 for it, but don't care it's worth that price and that is boom thunder force 3 this is an authentic japanese version of the game i am on the lookout for number four this one did come complete in box with manual and game this is one it's on the mega drive mini you can also get this on like the everdrive cart stuff like that but to 
you actually have a physical copy of it to hold on to and to play, it makes it worth it. And it's one hell of a shooter. Alright, so that was it for my Japanese original games, out of my Mega Drive original games. Now we're going to get into the cartridge, our, the North American titles. These first ones are cart only. And I did get these off of one of them off of eBay. The other two I managed to get down at that Freaky Toys um, store that I go to, which sells a lot of retro stuff. And I do mean a lot. And the first one, this is a game I had before. It is Forgotten Worlds. This game is a blast to play. Next game in the list. Boom! Alien Storm. This was a must buy for me. I had to get this one. And that one I got off of eBay. Last one so far off of just cartridge only is Batman Returns. Haven't really played this one too much yet, but it was a game I had to get. So this was actually a good month. Let's go on to the Genesis inbox games. First one, game I've never had in my life, never played it. It's cart and box only. That is Star Trek The Next Generation. I have no clue how to play this game yet. I've only popped in to make sure it works. I have not tried it. I will try it as I go. Oh, the next one. If you're an arcade basketball fan, and let's say you like um, NBA Jam, this is another one you should go take a look at. It is Arch Rivals, the arcade game. It's a great basket, as they say, a basket brawler. You can punch the guys, you can pull their shorts down. It's a lot of fun. This is one to look into if you do not have the game. I think this one is, yeah, this one's complete in box. Next one is one I've been looking for for a while. eBay, people are selling it for anywhere from 20 to 30. Freaky Toys, I think, had it for 10. No, 13. And it is Super Thunderblade. I had this on my Master System. I wanted the Genesis version, so when Freaky Toys had it for 13, complete in box, it was a buy. The next one is going to be on the Sega Genesis Mini two that's coming out. As you see, I've not made a video on that one. Enough people have made it on there. I'm, I got a pre-order already. I'm buying it no matter what. That's all I can say for that. I'm getting it. It's Sega's making it. I'm doing it. But this one is on a Sega Genesis Mini. This is cart and box only. It is a number two series, but it's called Super Street Fighter 2. That's another one knows that you just you gotta have you got the first one got this one also from freaky toys it's only cart and box no manual which is fine by me next one i won on an ebay bid so i got this for pretty darn cheap cart and box only i originally had it when i first started collecting for the sega genesis i won it again and it is kaboom last battle Are you really trying to get in my video again you did <laughs> At least he didn't fart this time since I'm not broadcasting live. All right, the next one, there are three... I'll come back if I need to. Get out of here, you boy. <laughs> there are three... Ver there are three... Um, not versions of the game. There are three... Um, there's a one, a two, and a three. Parts. That's what I'm thinking of. And I finally got my hands on part one again. Road Rash. It's only cart and box, but... If you like motorcycle beat em up racing games, all three of these are pretty good. I have two, I have one now, now I gotta work on getting number three back. All right, the last Genesis game in box, and this one is complete. I actually got this off of a guy that I buy a lot of my um, reproductions from. He does sell some original games too. And that is, and everybody says this one's a really good one, so I need to try it out more, it is. Joe Montana, NFL Sports Talk Football 94. Believe it or not, that was it for the Genesis games. Let's move on to the only Sega Master System game I got. And this thing is harder than help. It is a light gun game, so it, I do have it to be set to be used on my... I'm going to call my tube TV, because that's always what they were called. And that is 
Chum, Rambo 3. This thing is freaking hard, man. I haven't even been through the first round yet, but damn. A light gun game. Hell yeah. It is complete in box with poster. So for me, that's even better complete in box. You, get, you even get the poster in the back. All right. That's it for the Genesis and Master System stuff. Let's move on to... Not that one yet. Let's move on to my Sega Saturn. I actually picked up some games for that one. I thought this was going to be a Saturn month. Turned out Genesis kicked its ass. What can you do? But let's start off with the Sega Saturn. Pretty much all fighting games and a couple shooters. Or shunks, whatever they like to call them. I call them arcade shooters. But the first one just came out on the Capcom Fighting Collection. So it made me have to buy it on the Saturn. That is... Vampire Hunters. Hell yeah, that was an instant buy. The next fighting game is, I think this is number three? Yeah. I just noticed Fatal Fury 3. I don't know what the Japanese wording is for it. But it is number three. It is Fatal Fury. Okay, so next two are the two shooter games. I'm going to kind of show both at one time because it's part one and part two of it. I cannot pronounce it. Uh, Darius 1 and 2. Chipink. Both of those. What's weird is I got number... Where is it? Uh, this one, number one. Um, for a RAM hack on a Genesis. Actually, the Genesis version might be a little bit better. I'm going to do a side-by-side -side comparison. But I got one and two. The last Saturn game was something I heard was really excellent on the Saturn. I've been trying to find it, the U.S. version. Like I said, this is why I buy Japanese ones. The U.S. version is way too expensive. I found the Japanese version for 30 bucks, And that is Street Fighter Collection. I wasn't sure what was going to come in this one. It does have two CDs in here. And the instruction manual. CD1 is basically all Super Street Fighter 2 type stuff. Disc 2, though, kind of surprised me because that is actually Street Fighter 02 or Street Fighter Alpha in the US, which I actually have the Japanese version of that game too because I wanted it that bad. But this is beyond belief. This is so freaking awesome. I am so glad I got this. Even if it's a Japanese version, 100% worth it. 100 percent worth it. That was it for my Saturn games. That's kind of the reason why I thought my Saturn games were going to be higher up on the list, because those were the first ones I bought for the month of August. Now, this next game is just CD only with instruction manual. I will be getting a box for it later. This was a Dreamcast game that was a must-have that I've been having on my wish list, or watch list, whatever you want to call it, on eBay. Ever since I started collecting again, because it was just too damn expensive. I found somebody selling it for, I think it was between $30 and $40. And I just had to snatch it. I didn't care if it was CD only, as long as it works. Looney Tune Space Race. Like I said, it's manual here, game here. Game works perfectly. I originally had the ISO download of this that I was using on the emulator that I play on. I love the hell out of it. I've been dying to get my hands on the real thing. So I'm going to be going, well, if you had it on the emulator, we need to leave it on the emulator. Because I like having the originals better. There's something about having the originals. Emulators are fun. But having the originals playing on the actual consoles to me has always been better. So this is what I got. All right, so that is it for the straight-up physical games. I did buy some um, reproductions and some RAM hack games. So we'll go over the cartridge ones first and show you what I got there. We'll save the two what's supposed to be original games, which they are not. I'm almost positive on the second one. I haven't opened it up yet. But we'll start off with one of the reproduction games that I got. After playing this on my Sega Mega Kart, I had to get at least a regular kart version of it. And this is fine. This guy does 
awesome work. I'll leave a link for his stuff in the description. He does awesome work. He's not too expensive. And his work is very, very good. And this game is Vapor Trail. Vapor Trail. You didn't see that. Vapor Trail. This one's really good. I actually knocked down a couple games. <laughs> this one is really good. Let's move on now. Let's move on to the four ROM hack games that I bought. I got these games from, I think it's Retro Gamer US. I also have their link in the description. We'll show first the game that I have um, that I got off one of your other surprise boxes. Their surprise boxes are really fun to buy because you don't know what you're going to get. I do the four pack one. I think it costs like 15 bucks. Not bad. But that is Sally Acorn in Sonic 1. The next one is kind of a eh. Not too great, not too bad. But that is Fix It Flix Jr. It's not great, it's not terrible. Uh, you do get Wreck It Ralph in there, he destroys a building, and then you go through as this little dude, and all you do is um, fix the windows that are broke while trying to avoid Wreck It Ralph throwing bricks at you. This next one definitely looks more like a fan made style game. And it's actually a lot of fun. It is Sonic and... I'm probably going to pronounce the last name wrong. Ashro. Uh, from what my son told me, Ashro was a glitch in one of the Sonic games. And someone made it into an actual game with Sonic. This is actually a lot of fun. Also, this is another one I would recommend buying if you want a Ram Pack game. Or what looks like a fan-made game. It is Modifications by Afterlife. I don't know who they are, but this is good. All right, last one in that RAM hack um, purchase that I did. Happens to be better known as Mega Man here in the US, but this is Rocket Man X3. I do hate the fact this camera does not focus worth a crap. Rocket Man X3. This was another really good one that came into pack, so I had Take the three really good ones that came in a pack. One that's kind of don't know, but unfortunately, I already have Sally Acorn, but it's well worth it. Now it's time for two more that I'm not sure if both are legal games or if they're just um, pre productions or stuff like that. I want to open up the one to find out. I did buy it from the guy I have in the link below off of Etsy. The guy does excellent work. This one is supposed to be original. Um, I've never seen him put a Japanese reproduction into a Japanese cartridge. So I'm thinking it's actually original. And it's actually one that I have on the Saturn too. And it's that um, Darus game or whatever the hell they call it. Darus, whatever. This is the Saturn version, or the Mega Drive version of it. The last one. The person that I bought this from on eBay tried to say this is a rare, rare game. That there's not many out there. Um, I have no complaints with what's on it. And that is this 4-in-1 Mega Drive card. It has Sonic, it has Saint Sword, Wrestle War, and Alien Storm. This one's kind of neat because when you put it into your unit, you don't get to select what game you want to play. It picks one at the start. So if you want to play, let's say, Alien Storm, you might have to restart the system four times just to get it to show up. Rom hacks and reproductions. Well, not it for the reproductions. I got two more reproductions. And these I bought from Retro Gamer and Backups, who will also be linked in the description again. This guy does some of the best work I've ever seen. No. If you're going to buy something and you want to pay to have really good stuff done, this is the guy to go to. And one is Grey Lancer. Now this one I don't think was ever released, released in the U.S. Or it might be the other one. I don't remember which one. But it is in English. It's freaking awesome. It's hard as hell. I got box and cart. This one did not come with a manual or anything. 
but the freaking quality of the stuff he uses in here is insane. This guy does some of the best work I've ever seen. Some of the best. The cartridges are nice, they're thick, they're heavy. Gotta love it. And this is a great game. The last one was also a reproduction by him. This is cart box with manual. So a little bit more when he puts the manual in here, which is perfect. And this is a game that if you can get hold of this one as a legit one, or even as a reproduction, it's a must-have on your on your Genesis. That is Musha. Look at the quality of that print on here. I mean, oh my god, the quality is insane. Like I said, it is complete cart and manual. You you will be hard pressed to tell. Almost dropped it again. You'd be hard pressed to tell if this is actually real or fake. He uses security screws in the back. He's got the Sega logo on it. I mean, I would be fine if he put in here Sega made in Japan and had someplace in here that this is, um, you know, a re reproduction on here. I'd be fine if he put that on here. I'd be fine if he had it written on the box here, you know, someplace in here that says reproduction. I mean, he might. I just don't really haven't seen it anywhere on here. I'd be fine with that. I wouldn't care. Alright, I do want to show one more thing since I'm complaining about Nintendo right now. I don't have the cartridge for it yet, but I did pick up one more thing. I picked up a hyperlink. Retron HD for Nintendo. Yes, I'm complaining about them, but I am going to be trying some of the games. I've always been a Sega fan. It was time to try some Nintendo stuff and see what games I want to buy from them. But I'll still complain about Nintendo. Just the way I am. Alright, this video did come out to be a little bit longer than I thought it was going to be. I will show some gameplay footage at the end of my top five picks. I can kind of show which ones they will probably be right now for you. But we're going to show you at the end of the video. So, thank you for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video.